and welcome back to the Hobbyman UK channel. Today on my workbench I have a Tokyo Marui H&K USB full size gas blowback airsoft pistol. Um, and the reason I've got this particular pistol on my workbench today to show you is uh, I personally think this is probably the best currently in the marketplace airsoft pistol. Um, it's just been absolutely fantastic in the short period of time I've been using it and compared to previous pistols I've had this is just a cut above. Um, as you usually expect with Tokyo Marui, it has all the lovely trades all over it. Um, and it's just it's just a fantastic airsoft pistol. I find it very, very accurate. Um, as it, it comes with a 25 round magazine. It works fantastic on green gas. You get an average of sort of 260, 270 FPS. Um, very snappy recoil. This particular one, uh, being a recent release from uh, Tokyo Marui, features their new, I think, 15mm cylinder inside. Um, so it gives you a, more of a powerful blowback, re really, but it's very stable when shooting. So it's uh, it's just fantastic. Um, this particular one, uh, it comes with a um, mounting rail here, which is, I think, Pacific 4 H and K. So in the box, there is a, uh, a 20 millimeter. Uh, Picatinny rail uh, which you can attach to here which of course then you can in install your accessories such as tactical lights um, and whatever else you want to put on there basically but mainly tactical lights um, it comes with a ambidextrous mag release I'll see if we can make sure we got this in the video so there you go there's also um, and I'm not, never quite sure the correct terminology but it has the fake uh, runner there for the BBs you can obviously correct me in the comments which enables you to fire up blank fire this basically um, which I'll show you now. So we'll take it off safety and um, obviously I've checked this, cleared it all. So very snappy and nice and loud actually as well. So yeah, it's um, very good. Now what I will try and show you on camera now is a nice ability to be able to adjust the hop up which I'm not sure if I'll be able to focus in on this it's always a bit of a I've got the world's worst torture me today but there just inside there whether or not it's being caught on the camera is the hop up so it's quite easy to adjust don't need to take the top rail off you can stick your finger in there and adjust the hop up but um, I haven't had to adjust it and I've put quite a few magazines through this so far um, and it's been literally laser accuracy on it um, yeah, it's uh, just been uh, absolutely flawless. So yeah, very impressive. Um, and it's it's got some nice weight to it. It's I mean it's just you know as well as I do, Tokyo Marie really are the best for pistols. Um, and this this is a fantastic sidearm. Um, and quite often not, I quite enjoying just putting down the rifle and just going out just with the three mags. Now. They work fantastic on green gas. Easily, you can uh, do two. You can fill this up twice, so twenty-five rounds. On a good day, I've had you know three magazines worth out of, out of one fill of this. So, yeah, um, no issues at all. They've not leaked. Um, they've been fine. And I think the lowest so far I've been using this in is about five degrees centigrade. So quite a cold day, but no issues. Um, yeah, great. Um, in the box comes the usual undrowning rod. This is the hard case, which is obviously doesn't it doesn't come with. So like I say, it's just it's just that, um, and it's um, one mag that it comes with. We'll have a quick look in the box in a minute. So let's just move this over to one side. Again, fantastic packaging from uh, Tokyo Marie. This one, as you can see again, supplied by uh, Zero One. Um, inside. Um, you got that rail adapter I mentioned, so there you go. That's for your tactical lights and stuff. Um, there usually is uh, a packet of BBs in there, which there was. Um, there's another one, a spare one of those. So again, I'm not quite sure what the correct terminology for that is, but uh, basically you can fit that in your magazine and, and dry fire it um, for those sort of working in films and stuff, which is good. Um, and then underneath, Let's take that out. You've got a set of instructions. Um, again, most of all this is in Japanese. Um, 
obviously telling you not to shoot people, which obviously you do do in airsoft, but obviously don't shoot them unless it's in an airsoft environment. Um, so more instructions, but again on Japanese, uh, lots of pictures and stuff in here. But yeah, most of all of this, um, if not all, yes, all of it is in Japanese. But um, to be honest with you, from the pictures, which again are brilliant, you can know how exactly how to dismantle it, how to clean it. Um, yeah, so there you go. So that's the Tokyo Marie H&K USP full-size gas blowback pistol. Um, and USP stands for Universal Self-Loading Pistol. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, I wouldn't feature it on this channel if I didn't. Um, I think uh, the best thing for me to do, certainly for future videos relating to Airsoft, um, as I've done ones previous to this, I will only feature on this channel stuff that I 100% think is, you know, the best it is. Um, I'm not going to recommend stuff that's not because what's the point? What's the point of me putting out a video that's for something that's a failure? Um, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather recommend something, you know, having played it for a period of time myself, um, done a lot of research, um, and that's it really. There's no point in buying stuff that doesn't work. But uh, as it goes for one of these, yeah, I think you can't go wrong really with probably 99% uh, of uh, Tokyo Marie pistols. Um, and this one being one of their latest releases, um, ups the game again. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll uh, see you again in a future video.